We just put the Eurus kit on my R34 and it's time to go to the next step and that is wheels. I am Batman also. I'm Batman. Thought I'd come out and say that to you guys. But instead of fighting crime, I just break cars all the time. I'm really good at it. All right, so let's go ahead. <laughs> As you guys know, we've worked with Fitment Industries in the past, and I'm hoping to work with them on another level going forward because we're obviously building a pro drift car, and I'm gonna be competing on a hopefully pro level come next year, so they potentially might be one of our, our big sponsors for uh, 2024, but the cool thing about them is they sell all sorts of wheels. They sell, you want CE28s? You can get CE28s. You want TE37s? Get TE37s. You want a heritage wheels? You can get heritage wheels. You want some three-piece weds? Not exactly sure about that, but uh, I don't know if they have three-piece weds, but tons of wheel choices. And I've also, I've loved Fitment Industries for a long time because I have used their gallery as a wheel fitment guide. Absolutely phenomenal place to see what size wheels will fit on your car. In fact, I literally did it to pick wheels for this car, so it's gonna be good. Today, we got some pretty bunky fitment on the Eurus kit. I'm gonna get kind of nerdy and technical here. But in order to make this more aggressive Eurus kit actually work, the bottom of the tire needs to poke out further than the actual bottom of the skirt. And it's just a general rule of thumb I like to do to make a car. I actually, no, take that back. The lip of the wheel needs to poke out further than the widest part of the body. And that's the general rule of thumb that I always go for. And as you can see right here, the tire even tucks in a little bit to the fender. So we've got a lot of room to go. I am, uh, as God, you guys know, I've done fender work for years and I really enjoy doing like really tedious, good fender work. And because we have a clean car, although we're gonna be repainting it anyways because of the doo-doo stain. Hello, doo-doo stain. Also, I hope the camera's cooperating. I've been using it in manual today and it might not be perfect, but let's not waste any more time and let's get some wheels on this R34. The first thing I wanna do actually is uh, <laughs> I wanna swap out the stock 34 wheels because they're kind of whack. Might even, you know, maybe they're not, they're not super amazing. They don't look awesome. Fitment on them is pretty bad. And uh, well, they're made for a stock little teeny body. I wanna actually put the CE28s that I have. These are actually insanely rare CE28s that uh, group buy on S2KI did back in the day. It was for my S2000, but we're getting rid of the S2000, so I'm keeping these wheels um, because they're super awesome. But these are 17 by 10 plus 44, which, uh, and, and, and they don't have any concavity to them, which is kind of lame, but that means they fit every single big brake kit that you can possibly do. So they're really good specs for stock body. They're not like, they're kind of weak. The plus 44 is kind of a weak spec, but I might put these on the car in the meantime. We're still waiting. I'm still waiting on my Acceleras to get here, but either way, I want to do some measuring and see, give my and give myself a little bit of an idea on how much fender work I might need to be doing. So without wasting any more time, I'm gonna show you guys the wheels I chose because I think you're going to absolutely love them. See that raise? That's right, baby. We got the good stuff. Because this car is white, gives you endless possibilities for wheel color, really neat color combos. One of my favorite colors that Volk or Rays offers is mag blue. So this is actually mag blue over here, but I'm not doing mag blue. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's my favorite color. We are gonna be doing, ready for it, ready for it, ready for it. Little build up. Bah, 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 bah. Ah, heck these out. I already put the Gram Lights sticker on them, but we got Gram Lights, one of my favorite wheels of all time. I have wanted these wheels since high school. I'm not even kidding you. I've wanted 57 DRs for probably 10 years now. One of the best looking and most simple wheels of all time, but this is like a really cool color from them. It's, it's a shade or a haze of blue, but gray. So a little hint of blue in there, but gray. So they look super cool. And it's just like, it's a little more tasteful than just silver. Cause we gotta make this car look good. So uh, let's test them today. I'm gonna get the car jacked up. First off, I'm gonna see if the C28s fit because I'm tired of running around on stockies. But also, let's see what the Gram lights look like. Big thank you to Fitment Industries. I'm super excited to work with these guys from here on out. I've worked with them a ton in the past and they have an awesome wheel selection. So make sure you check them out. Let's get her up on jack stands, boys. Okay, so first off, these are pretty small, but uh, they don't fit because they are such a high offset and wide that they hit the inside, which usually in this case, you would run a spacer, but I can't actually find any 5x114 spacers. We're gonna have to go back to the bunky old 
OEM wheels for now and ride it out until we get the right tires, so. Also, for tires as well, you guys can save money. Um, I have a discount code for you. 15% off tires with my code. It's always in the description, but uh, really good tires. Accelera has a bunch of track-oriented stuff. These are the 100 tread wear for like grip stuff. And they also have uh, 200 tread 651s, PHIs, PHARs. So hit up Tire Streets and see what you got. We've also got stuff for my tow rig. They got everything, so hit them up. Well, I went back through the footage and realized I didn't actually end the video, which is convenient for you guys because you get to see the car with the wheels and tires fully installed. Got some 651 Sports on this baby, and she's looking super good. I wanna give a big, big thank you again to Fitment Industries. I'm super stoked on how this came out. The fitment is pretty good. I obviously need to do some fender work, which I think I had mentioned earlier. Very simple to do, and it won't need much rolling or pulling at all, especially when I get coilovers that have uh, adjustable hats on them. Do a little bit of negative camber in the front. It'll be right on the money. So at this point, I need to get the VIN inspection done because whenever you bring over a car from Japan, they don't exist, and so you have to put them in the US system. So I gotta get a VIN inspection, and then I can get it painted. So right now, it's gonna have the unpainted uh, fiberglass vibes. I'm probably gonna drive it around. It's gonna look goofy as hell, but it does look so good though. Very happy with this wheel setup. Um, I've been wanting, the 57 DRs have been some of my favorite wheels ever. And I'm glad I got to put it on a car that I've been waiting for for a long time. The last few things I'm gonna need for uh, aesthetically, um, this car's pretty much almost done except for paint, but there's a little bonnet, a hood uh, extension thingy that makes it work with the GTR uh, Urus uh, conversion. Maybe do some carbon, but like, just paint. It just needs paint and then coilovers. And I'm probably gonna do a different exhaust or something like that, make it sound really good, because these RBs sound fantastic. Uh, then I'm gonna try and find, I need to find a Blitz uh, intercooler stateside, because it costs like $600 to ship over. But I'd like to find a Blitz intercooler to do a front mount setup. Won't change too much on the Neo. You know, I've learned my lesson though. I'm not gonna go straight, like, straight to huge turbo or anything. I'd like to do a smaller or medium sized Garrett and make this car super peppy and fun to drive. Anyways, uh, she getting wet. <laughs> I'll pull her back inside, but I hope you guys love it, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's very wet outside. Let me get out of the rain real quick. A lot of people were asking me about like, the 34, like, are you gonna um, are you gonna keep it? Are you gonna give it away? First off, we're, we're done with giveaways. The 330 is the last car we're giving away. I don't like the effect that it has on YouTube channels. I think that, um, it's been a little oversaturated, to be honest, and so moving away from that. So we're not giving it away. But what I will say is, as long as you're watching my channel and continuously supporting, buying our merch, whatever it might be, I don't have to get rid of the car. My plan is to keep the car, but if I end up having to sell it to fund other things, well, you can blame YouTube or whoever you want for that. I, my goal is to keep the car. I'd love to because I've wanted this car, bought this car a few years ago, and I've been so excited to have it ever since. Guys, my daily advice for you guys is to not give up today. Um, I want you guys to know that today might not be going your way, um, and it might seem like today's the end for you, but you never know what tomorrow might hold, and I want you guys to know that. Um, a lot of times we go about life thinking that like, today's the end, today's the end, today's the end. Well, if you think about it, you thought that a lot of days were the end, but guess what, you're still here. As long as you stick around for tomorrow, you never know what it might bring you. So, stick around. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Catch you guys next video. Peace.